All right, Charles. The people station B103. <laughs> she laughing that hard. I found something out about Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Here's what she said. What? She said, oh, my God, I like that new song by Beyonce and Jay-Z and um, um, no, Kanye West. She's like, uh, it sounds like it's in the 90s. It's like a throwback 90s song. And then Mark D played a piece of it. She said, oh, that's my jam and waste coffee everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she liked the swag go part. I did. I, I, you know, I just had like a little, a little mishap. <laughs> Kiki Palmer's in the studio, everybody. V103. Hey, do you like the part where she say, I may be young, but I'm ready. Is that your part? Yes, that's right. I love it. I just love it. Because it makes me feel like I'm in the old days, and I always wanted to be a teenager in the 90s. But I was just a baby. Wow. <laughs> you can get, get it. it. <laughs> right. And my voice is so booty right now. Ooh, it's so bad. So booty. Do you now. sing it in the shower? Oh, yes. I sing it whenever it comes on. That's what people drive me. And if they can't sing, they get jealous because they mad that I be I singing know, the record. I know. You be singing. I'm like, don't be mad you can't sing. Girl. In your horse voice. Come on. Tomorrow. Because we love you. Can't see it. I'm going to Wow. Yeah. No, this boy is too booty. It's gone. Bye-bye. Kiki Palmer is wow. here. Joyful Noise, Yay. the movie. <laughs> January 13th. Yes. Joyful Noise. So I'm just kidding. Okay, I have to tell you guys out there, you know, I was just, you know, talking about, I just had did done an interview before here, and it was making me laugh a little bit just because the woman pronounced the movie that I have coming out as Joyful Noises. And I didn't want to say, you know, oh, actually, it's joyful noise because I just feel so weird about correcting people. I don't want to make anybody feel like, oh, you know, I'm trying to correct them, make them feel embarrassed or anything like that. So but you just, just let her go. Right, I just let her go. I'm like, that's what the movie is. The movie's actually called Joyful Noises. The posters made a mistake. <laughs> it's Joyful Noises. <laughs> because she was saying it so clearly. She, and every time, it was, she was saying it perfectly. But every time I just hear that extra S, I'm like, oh, no. She's like, it's Kiki Palmer and it's Joyful Noises. And I'm like, no. <laughs> It came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. I like joyful noises. Um. Joyful noise. Well, girl, she just walked you in the door and say, "Remember Akila from the Akila and the Bees." <laughs> no, but people do say Akila and the Bees, and I'm like, Akila is one B. Akila oh and the Bees. How good was that movie? Thank oh you my so god! Much. You opened so many doors for so many people. Yeah. You inspired so many kids to want to be a part of. So a spelling bees. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are so funny. I just let her go. Was she on the roll? My job is to let her go. How much fun was it making that film? The most fun ever. Because at that time, and you know, I had moved to California. That was, I think that was my first complete, maybe yes. my first complete year of being in California. So I was very lonely. Like I missed my grandmother. Wow. I wasn't in real school. So doing that movie, it like brought me around my peers. And I just yes. felt so happy because I was like, finally, I have, you know, people, the kids I can be around. I felt like it felt like a home for me. Being on that movie set, it was just, mm -hmm. we all, I created lifelong friends there. And, you know, all the people I appreciate during that time in my life because, you know, it was, it was hard. You know, it was wow. my first big gig ever. Yes, we and, know. You know, so it was really, it was just great for me and, and look at her now it's like looking at a little girl on that film and it's she coming here with grown woman makeup and lashes grown I'm like, woman who is no, this i'm just doing too much <laughs> You look very pretty this morning. So and we're you. streaming live so you can see her live right here on the People Station B103. Log on to B-103.com and see Kiki Palmer's right, Kiki Palmer's. Joyful Noises. <laughs> Joyful Noises. So no, tell, tell us about the movie. Now, we, we've seen the previews, and, and we see, you know, you got Dolly Parton, Queen Latifah. They're both on stage together, but right. what is the relationship? What is that all about? Well, well Joseph, this is a bit of an ensemble piece, so there are a few things that are going on. Okay. I would like to say the main thing about the film is that, you know, our town is, is going down. You know, the economy has hurt our, our city, and we're mm -hmm. just, you know, we're losing, I don't say we're losing our faith, but it's around that time where you're really tested. You know, right. you have to believe in what you don't see. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what's going on. So we're trying to uplift our community by going to this, you know, national choir competition. And every year mm -hmm. we just make it, but we never win. Right. So this year it's really important to us as, you know, a community to try to take it home for our oh, city. Wow. So that's the main backdrop of the film. And in between we have, of course, little things like, you know, Dolly Parton and Queen Latifah, they have a, you know, they don't, they, they they're have, beefing. they're beefing because, okay. 
Queen Latifah got the, you know, the position that Dolly feels that she should have taken after her husband passed. Right. But it rightfully so was Queen Latifah's. Dolly just feels that, you know, it should oh, be hers. You know, wow. so they have we have that going on. Then we also have my mother and I, which are, we were we're just going through that normal teenage mother and daughter thing. And who's right. your mom in the movie? Queen, Queen Latifah. Latifah. Okay. Yes. Oh. So what happens is through, throughout my thing, I'm just trying to separate myself from my mother because I'm I'm tired of always being under her. I'm trying mm-hmm. to be my own woman, mm-hmm. which is understandable, but it's also understandable because my mother is just trying to be there for me. Yes. And she doesn't really know how. So when that relationship starts to change, they have to mm. change it to a different place. Right. So through that, I also uncover my, you know, first love. I, I discovered my first love, which is Dolly Parton's grandson. Oh. So we have that. We have like oh. a little love connection. Oh. Okay. There's a lot going on in that I movie. A whole lot. A lot of things. A lot of things. <laughs> Joyful noise. Yes. Or as they say down the hall, joyful noises. Right. Joyful, joyful noises. Yeah. Joyful noise opens <laughs> nationwide January 13th. We're actually doing a big V103 premiere with a big question and answer session. Well, I love so that. keep it locked in the V103 so you can uh, get tickets for that. But uh, Joyful Noise opens in theaters January 13th. Make sure you go see it yes. and support this film. Kiki, thank you so much. For I know. Out. Thank you. We're proud of you. Yeah. Thank you so Keep much. You're doing a good job. Yeah, for you. I can talk for the <laughs> There she is, everybody. It's 921. 21 minutes after 9 o'clock. Frank and Wanda.